right on to Toby Lee. I will be adding both videos in. I can't wait for you to see our, um, Penelope Grace. She just turned out beautiful. She looks so much more real. And now we're on him. I'm sorry if this looks freaky, guys. I had to take his eyes out to do the painting. And I do have a coat of that first coat, base coat, 109. Um, she did not take that base. She did not dry. Paints were not drying. So I had to do the 110 on her, which is like a barrier um, to give her like a silicone base. And she was just too soft. So some of them will take paint, some don't. She didn't. I had to do the 110. Then I went on to the 109 and then the painting like that with her. But I tried the 109 first. He took the 109 base coat from the Fuse FX, which is, like I said, a paint without the pigment. And I just forgot to show you guys before. His back, though, isn't done. And you get, you'll get to see that, um, you know, beforehand. But he was a baby that came that didn't have much art to him. Uh, his lips, you can see, is already all this stuff's coming off. And again, I'm sorry without the eyeballs. And I know it looks freaky, but he is just a doll. So I'm just going to show you the features on him. You can see where his eyebrows are going to go. I am going to root him. And you see that beautiful face. All the areas that I'm going to emphasize on his chin, his little, um, you know, uh, divot in his chin there. <clears throat> I love how his mouth goes down. Looks like he's frowning. I'll be emphasizing on the lines there. Of course, his beautiful ears. I'll be emphasizing on that. The little rolls of fat under his chin, his little double chin he has. And then, of course, going down his arm. Now, he does have a little bit of color in his nipples, but I'm going to um, make them even more. And then, of course, those little fat rolls, I'll be, you know, coloring in that. Excuse me, in the lines like that. And then all the little lines on his hand. Look at the rolls of fat he has. We got to butter him. There's the inside of his hand. I'll be emphasizing on all of that and the rolls around his wrist. There's the other arm in the folds of fat and everything. I will block out his private areas for you. Um, but there is his hand there. There's the top of his hand, all the different lines and stuff I'll be doing. Of course, I'll be painting his nails too, like I did hers. I'll be doing the belly button and I'm giving them, well, I'm not even going to tell you. You just got to see the belly button when I'm done. It's just amazing. Perfect for a newborn baby. Then as we go down, I will block out the uh, little baby bits. And then you just see his legs. Uh, he's got the beautiful folds of fat there around his ankles. And there's the top of his feet there that I will be emphasizing on in the bottom of his feet. I did, um, we'll be showing that again, like in the other video on his back. But there's that. And you'll see he's got little lines and everything that I can really do it. But he looks wet, but he's dry. And I'm so happy because I didn't have a lot of the 110 left. I would have had to order. That's what you need for the very end when you do the matte powder on him. But there he is. And I'm going to turn him over and show you the back as well. And then you won't see him again until he is painted. And if I'm able to root when he's rooted, then you will see all of that. And I'll do another video on both the babies. But you're going to see such a difference. And then, of course, photos. I got photos of the baby. I didn't get very many photos of Penelope, though. Um, just a video on her. And I'm going to try to screenshot some of those. But I didn't get like a full back one of her like pulling away and I'm really upset about that, but you'll still get the idea of what she looked like and what she looked like after. But here's Toby Lee, let's get him painted. All right, now we've got baby Toby and all of his beautiful art. Like I said in Penelope's video, I did both of their arts differently. I gave him less veining than her since she's skinnier and smaller. I figured her veins would be more prominent on her um, I gave both of them an umbilical cord since they are newborns, and I love his art just as much as I love hers. I've got his little baby bits covered with that little napkin. We're going to keep it covered because, like I said, YouTube doesn't like that, even though they're not real babies. Um, they just are so lifelike, and I am just loving both of them. I love both companies. This one is Ivita. I'll throw up, up on the screen there um, so you know which company he came from. But out of the two companies, like I said, I like Follins better just because of the packaging and the babies are a little bit stiffer. Now, I don't know if everyone comes that way because I've only got the two. So, But I do hear watching videos that the Volans are much more softer. So they're like an Eco 20. I would believe he's an Eco 30. He feels like Christian where she feels like Octavia. And I know both Christian and Octavia are Eco 30 and Eco 20. And that's what they feel like. Um, again, he's going to have a little bit of white spots on him where it crystallized. Again, when you do the wet to matte finish, that's my the hardest part for me to do. But I do realize people probably have, you know, trouble with that. It's so hard when something's wet and you're trying to powder it. Like if a baby was wet out of the bath and you powdered them, they'd have all kinds of chalkiness of that. So I'm just taking it, again, as dry skin or just the fact that, um, you know, like you can have dry skin or powder finish. But eventually it's going to rub off just like a sticker. You can rub a sticker off. Eventually, eventually it rubs off. It happened to both um, Abel and Octavia. And I explained it in Penelope's, you know, Penelope's video that that's what happened to her as well. So when you see some of those spots, again, I'm not upset at all. It just happens. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what, but I've watched so many videos on how to do it. And every, no matter which way I do it, whether I paint one side and do it and then paint the other, or I 
you know, paint both sides and do it. It doesn't matter because they lay on it or, you know, it just doesn't come on right when you're doing one side to the versus the other. I've seen many people do it both ways. And yeah, maybe it's just a step I need to work on harder, you know, maybe on some um, just, you know, practice babies or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a tough step to do, but I don't care because it eventually rubs off. All right, you see he's got that umbilical cord. I think I already mentioned that um, being a newborn. But yeah, let's get up close and personal and show you him. I'm sorry when I was doing the video painting him, I had to have the eyes out. I know it looked freaky, but I had to. I didn't want to get paint on the eyes. And I have something special to share with you guys for a baby that is a um, open eye baby. I was never opposed to wanting to get an open eye baby because I just don't like that they're always open eye. Um, but I found something really cool and I'm going to share that with you guys. All right, so let's get up close with him. I am covering his baby bits, but uh, yeah, let's start off with the face. Look at that face. Oh my gosh, look at those big blue eyes and the rosy cheeks and the rosy forehead. He does have veining, but it's a lot less prominent on him. It does go down the nose. He's got the wet lips. I did open up his mouth so he can take a pacifier. I did open it. I um, didn't do anything with the inside yet for painting because I want to work on that a little bit more and cut a little bit more out with the other, you know, the exacto knife. Uh, but he can take a pacifier right now. All right, I just want to just open it a little bit more inside so it's cleaner. There's the side there, his ear and some veining there. You see that? And that's what I'm talking about, the little bit of chalkiness there. Not worried about it. It's going to come off. And then you got this side of him with the veining there and his ear is gorgeous. Look at this gorgeous baby with the wet nose, wet lips, and beautiful big blue eyes. See, I am so cute. Yeah, I'm so cute and so lifelike now. Okay, and then I emphasize on all his fat rolls and lines and divots and all that. So you see that under the chin there and under the neck. And then, of course, his chest cakes, his fat rolls right there, like by the rib cage, um, all down his arm, all the lines, his hand. Look at his beautiful hand, the top of it with the white tips and all that. And then, you know, the top of his hand. So gorgeous. The other arm, we got the veining going on there, going down the arm and all the art. And then this hand is fisted. So he's got the paint there on the thumb. And then you see this side of it. You see the veining inside the hand there and the little fingertips done with the paint. And then uh, going down, you see his beautiful belly button, the umbilical cord like on um, Penelope. So, so cute. It's so lifelike when you have that umbilical cord. And again, they need to be wet looking because you put a cream on it that almost looks like a Vaseline just to help it to heal. And then eventually you just let them dry out. Uh, but he's a newborn. So, and then his area here, I'm just going to pull this down just a little bit to show you how I rosied up that area for him and emphasize on all of that. And then, of course, going down the leg, you got the veins, the beautiful veins and his feet. Look at his adorable feet and all the uh, little divots and everything that I painted the bottom of his foot the veining so cute this foot you see the veining going there and all of that so gorgeous and then you see the bottom of this foot and the veining the top of this foot I like how his toe is up like that so cute these these four are together and that one's loose and over here I think the same thing all four are together and then that one's uh, open there um, separated is what I mean but there is the front of him gorgeous isn't he cute oh my god he's such a fatty that's why he's Toby, a.k.a. Tubby. He's a Tubbers. He is, again, uh, 8 pounds, 16 ounces, I believe. I'll have to check again. I'll put it up on the screen here. Uh, and he's 19 inches long. So, yeah, he's a little bit of a chunkier one. All right, let's flip him over. And we'll show you the back of him. Again, the back got a little bit more. Like I said, I didn't want to... Um, you know, I wanted the front to be better because that's what you see more is the front. So I wanted to do the back last, you know, um, so that when I got done, if he did have some of those spots, it's on the back of him. So I'm not worried about it. And as soon as I powder him, he's going to have that white finish anyways because they're sticky babies. You know, every silicone is sticky. So you see some of the spots here. But again, um, all I have to do is a little brush and you can actually just, you know, like a scrub brush. You can actually get that right off. And using Fuse FX, you can do that with these babies. You don't have to worry about it with these babies. You can rub them and you're not going to take the paint off. You just know it becomes the baby. So you see the veining that I got back there a little bit on his head. And um, the neck there, of course, I emphasized on these little fat uh, divots. He had like little dimples down the arm, the elbow. We did some rosiness to the elbow on that elbow. Again, um, you know, you're seeing this in 4K. You're seeing it way more. I'm seeing it in the screen and I'm going, wow, he has a lot of it. But he doesn't when you just look at him. That's what's crazy. He just doesn't. Okay, and his cute bum bum. You can show the bum. Look at his bum. 
Love it how I emphasized and made it a little bit more rosy going down his legs here. Look at his beautiful legs and the beautiful feet with that veining and the veining there. So adorable. So, so adorable. He turned out just as cute, you guys. Isn't he just amazing? So amazing. And hey, babies can have dry skin, right? There are babies born with dry skin because they're babies. That's why we lotion them and everything. But we'll flip him back over here now so we can show you guys the front again. Uh, but again, I love the way it turned out. I can't wait till he's um, rooted as well. But again, I'm going to try to get Penelope done first because he could wear a hat for the holidays. And he looks cute with the bald head right now anyways. And I'm doing two different colors with each baby. And the other thing I want to show you, like I said, I'm opposed to open eye babies because they just always have their eyes open and I want them to sleep. But look at what I found online. It's called, uh, it's by Pretty Memory. They're removable eyelids for mannequin heads. Now you want to order for the babies. They come in 1.7 inches. I ordered 1.3 inches for him and he's got pretty tiny eyes. When I measured from here to here, it was less than an inch. But remember, it goes inside. I'm going to show you the eyelids. Um, they're for people just to practice putting eyelashes on, but they work great for these silicone babies. Now, you couldn't do it with a reborn because I think reborn eyes are glued in. If you didn't glue them in, then you could do these eyelids, I would believe. But again, they're vinyl and these um, eyelids are um, silicone. So let me show you. That's how they come. That was the color. You see the color is not going to match them and they're just glued on eyelashes. I took them off because I'm also going to make sure the eyelashes are the color. I'm going to root them are the color of his hair. But there you go. That's more of his color. You can see his skin tone. That's more of that. And that's what they're going to look like when they're in. But yeah, he can be a sleeping baby. And I will do a video of that of, you know, once the eye, um, the eyelashes are on and all of that, then I'll do a video with them into photos of him with the you know eyes open and eyes closed. But isn't that cool, you guys? I saw it on a video. I was just watching videos, not even looking for that, just looking up these Ivita and uh, Volance babies. And all of a sudden, somebody had a video on being able to close their eye, and it's just adorable. And like it looks like it's all messed up because of the paint around it, but they're not. They're very cute. They're matching his color really good in that area. So it's going to be perfect. You can see it's like his skin tones. So yeah, it's going to be perfect, especially when I root them. Again, here is the company. If somebody wants to get an open eye baby, but they're opposed to it because they don't want it to always be open, you can get these. And it was only $8.99 for two pairs. Remember, for these babies, order the 1.3. That's for the child, the child size. And I would imagine they're going to fit any of the babies because his are really small eyes. They're just round, more round, but um, they go in. I'm going to show you. I'm going to pull one of these out of the package here to show you what they do. As you see, that's the rubber part there that goes inside. So inside his eye is opened up much more. So it just goes inside and lays like that. So it's amazing. And then you can just put them away on the little thing here to keep them nice when you're not using them. And you can also put the eyes in there when you're not using the eyes when he's sleeping. Again, those ones look a little bit funny because they're painted and matted and all that. It just looks funny laying with all that paint around it. But I'm not worried about that. It just peels right off of that because this is not silicone, but the eyes are. This is like a I don't know, plastic or something. But yeah, once I put the eyelashes on it and put him in, you're going to see how, you know, much more cute he is with the men. Maybe I might throw him in right now without the eyelashes just to show you um, that, you know, just a small little clip of that. But yeah, definitely look into that if you want, you know, if you're opposed yourself to getting an open eye baby, now you can have a sleeping and open eye together. So now I will order babies. And like I said, $8.99, you can't beat it. I don't remember if it was Amazon. I'll throw it up in the screen here. I'll look it up, throw it up in the screen here for you guys. But if you just pushed in pretty memory, uh, removable eyelids for mannequins, you're going to find them. And I, like I said, really search and find the one 1.3 inch because that's for the children. They're smaller ones. And then the other one is 1.7. They'd be way too big unless your baby's eyes were really big. But there we go. There he is, baby Toby. Absolutely adorable. I'll get photos of him like I did her. And like I said, maybe I'll do a small little clip of putting those eyelids in just really quick without the eyelashes, and then you'll get the gesture of th them in. Unless I just want to wait and it looks funky, and I just want to wait until he's got the eyelashes rooted in um, of the color of his hair. And I will be painting on both Octavia, I mean, um, Toby and Penelope. I will be painting on the eyebrows. I didn't want to do the eyebrows till I knew if I was able to root them. I have been watching a lot of videos on rooting. If I am, then it would look okay to have the eyebrows, um, especially the color I'm going with. Uh, for one of them, for Penelope, it would look funky if she had eyebrows and a bald head, which 
I mean, she's going to have eyebrows. You know what I mean? they got to have eyebrows, but you don't really have to because they have the definition of where the eyebrow would be. So you don't really have to have that, but I do want it. But I want to just see if I can root it first because I'd hate to paint it on it dry and then not like it being a bald head. So yeah, I just, I want to wait. I just want to wait. But anyways, there he is. There's Toby. And if you get a second little clip in here, it'll be with the eyelids in with the eyelashes or it'll be with the eyelashes. So, and I'm going to get photos of him as well. And a side-by-side -side before and after. Thanks again, whoever did this for me. And a next clip uh, will be after rooting. I'm going to try to throw all that in and there'll probably be two separate videos. He'll have his own video. She'll have her own. All right. So let's go on. All righty. We are all done with Toby Lee, a.k.a. Mr. Tubby. And I love the way he turned out, you guys. I love it with the blonde hair, the light baby blue eyes. Those are not the eyes he came with. I'll throw it up on the screen here. I ordered them through Irresistibles. They are a glass eye. And for this particular baby, it took a 24 mm, so 24 millimeter. And it just, just brightened his eyes. It's called Baby Blue was the color I ordered. And it goes so great with that platinum blonde hair. I want to do these babies between me and my husband. So I was born blonde with blue eye. He's got the dark hair and dark eyes because he's Italian. So the babies are going to be between, you know, dark eyes to light eyes to medium blue eyes to, you know, different shades like that and different shades of uh, blonde hair. And then, of course, the um, dark hair is either black or brown hair. And I just want them to be like, you know, like our babies, what our babies would look like. But I can't see this baby any other way than a blonde. I got him anonymously along with Penelope. And I can't thank the person enough for them. But like when I see this little guy, I know that there's a girl version and I've seen it. And I just, I still love him as a boy. I'm so glad that I got him as a boy. I can't imagine having him as a girl, even though I've seen people get this baby as a girl. And it's really cute. But I don't know, for him, he just was too boyish for me. And I love what I did with his hair. I love that I changed the um, eyes to the glass eyes so it's more lifelike. And then I did root eyebrows. As far as eyelashes, I did try to root the eyelashes, but being a blonde and his eyes open so far, they were just hanging down. They would not stay up. So I pulled them out and I did buy him eyelashes off a line. I think it was called Tuma. It's like a, a site like Wish, and they're called the Champagne Blonde. They didn't have the Platinum Blonde. They are like a mink lash, so they're really good lash. I did cut them down, though, and thin them out being a blonde. I do want to work a little bit more on them, but I'm going to get up close and show you. Now, they're going to look yellow to you. They're not. They're a sandy blonde. It's just the light, and it's dark in my house. But when you see photos of it, you're going to see the lashes are like a dark blonde, a sandy blonde. They're perfect. Uh, but I do want to thin them out a little bit more because as a blonde, you'd have a lot less you know, lash. I just worked on it and then noticed when I was doing this that I do need to kind of thin them a little bit more. But the hair is rooted and the eyebrows are rooted and I'll show you that. And I love his hair. I did a mohawk style. So more hair to the middle, which kind of lays down and the sides are a lot thinner. But I'm going to get up and show you that in the back is really baby fine. And I each, you know, this is only my second rooting job. And I love the way this one turned out for only my second time. These babies are really rooting good. Um, but I really love the way his turned out. It just took so long as a blonde to root that light hair. It took me forever, especially wanting to have the mohawk. I wanted a lot of hair in the center and very baby fine on the side. So it took me like two weeks. I don't know. I had like 60 some hours into him. Uh, but anyways, we're going to get up close. Look at those baby blues. He's a heartbreaker. And the eyelashes, like I said, they're looking kind of orangish yellow. They're not. They are sandy blonde. They're called champagne. But they are a beautiful uh, darker blonde. They're gorgeous. And like I said, I'm going to cut them down a little bit. But you see that the eyebrows, you can see as I turn right there over to that eyebrow, how you see it. And then when I turn this way, because that'll help you to see them a little better. And then the eyelashes, like right there, they look really yellow. They're not. They are blonde. But look at this gorgeous, handsome little man. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh, my God. Those baby blues just catch you every time. I love these eyes in him. I'm so glad I changed them to the glass eye with the iris. They're more um, human-like. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, it makes him look more lifelike, you know. But he is so adorable. Looks like mommy now. He actually looks like my nephew, Dodger. I'm going to throw a picture of Dodger when he was, I want to say he was about nine months to, to ten months old, just learning how to walk. I'm going to show a picture of that with, he had a little mohawk. He had less hair, um, 
my uh, nephew, Dodger. But I'm going to throw a picture of him and Dodger. This baby reminds me so much of Dodger. You guys are going to agree. And I know, Jennifer, you've already seen Dodger. So you're going to agree. Yeah, he looks a lot like Dodger. Um, but anyways, so the blonde here on the sides, how it's more baby fine on the sides. He's got the curl. I can straighten it down. This is a, a hair that's called straight hair, but it's got a slight wave. But I curled it. And then you look to the back. Now, his hair's a little bit messy. But um, look at the back, how baby fine it is and how much better it even turned out than Penelope. I just love it. Love it. It's got that beautiful swirl to it. Um, yes, I have lots of, you know, hours and time to root even better. Um, but I'm surprised for my second baby that it got even better. There's that side. Nice and baby fine hair. But then we've got the mohawk in the middle. I love that I can, like I said, bring it up to a mohawk. But I like it just coming down on him because his face is so fat. It's just adorable. Absolutely love it. Isn't he cute, you guys? My little blonde eye, blue-eyed, gorgeous heartbreaker. And I love the way he turned out. I think you guys will agree. He's so adorable. I'll get photos so you can actually see the eyelashes and, you know, how true the color is on them. Because, yeah, they look so yellow. And they're just a tad longer than what I want. So I'm going to go a little bit shorter being a blonde, a little bit shorter with them and thin them out a little bit more. I just couldn't tell till I put this light on how there was still a little bit too much there and a little bit too long. So, all right, let's get photos, you guys. But he's completed. I hope you enjoyed this whole process of, of course, you didn't see the painting and, you know, all of that, me rooting and all of that. One day I'll do that, you know, do a video on that. But right now I just, it makes the videos way too long. So I'll, I'll share with you guys when I get better at rooting. But I do think I'm doing pretty good. It's only my second baby that I've rooted. I think he turned out great. All right, let's go on to the photos.